Hi Pisces, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 16th to the 31st, 2021 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will be listed and linked in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. Now I want to apologize for my voice. I am getting over the flu, so do bear with me. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's let the bull sing as we see what the tarot has to say. Pisces, August 16th to the 31st, 2021, Pisces, August 16th to the 31st, 2021, Pisces, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly, guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides, angels. Pisces. August 16th to the 31st, 2021, Pisces. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. <coughs> oh, I do apologize. Pisces. August 16th to the 31st, 2021, Pisces. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Pisces. August 16th to the 31st, 2021, Pisces. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. At the bottom is our rooted self. The left-hand side is our inner self. The middle, our heart, our emotional self. The right-hand side, the public arena, the public self. So let's see what the cards have to say. We have the tower and we have justice. So there's justice coming in after a time of upheaval, which is really, really nice. We have the queen of swords and we have the three of cups after betrayal we are now becoming warriors and we're also learning to really rely on the people who were always in our corner who were always able to celebrate us not focusing our energy our energy on the people who betrayed us who hurt us we have the tower again in our hearts this this change it doesn't have to be a bad change it's just a life-changing change comes in and it's, it's really affected our hearts and it has us now being students of our hearts, our emotions, of what we desire, of the way we want to move forward in our lives. Then we have the Knight of Swords and we have the Queen of Wands. So if we have air sign energy within our chart, <coughs> excuse me, Libra energy is at our root. So if we have Libra energy at our in our natal chart, it's coming through very powerfully at our root. If we have air sign energy, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in our natal chart, it's coming very strongly in our inner selves and in our 
public selves. In our public selves, it's going to come forward as a warrior. In our inner selves, it's going to come through as a ruler. Then we have the Queen of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If we have this energy in our natal chart, it's coming through very strongly in the public arena as the ruler, as a, as a person harnessing their passion and not afraid to roll up their sleeves and get their hands dirty. So let me take a sip of water. Hopefully that helps my throat just calm down for a moment. Let's look at, <clears throat> let's look at the energy we need to be mindful of during this time. What is the energy that Pisces needs to be mindful of? August 16th to the 31st, 2021 Pisces, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly, guide this reading and show me clearly. This is Aquarius energy. So if we're born on the cusp with Aquarius, or if we have Aquarius within our chart, we have to be mindful because this is air sign energy. We have a lot of air sign energy coming up here. We have to be mindful of kind of dreams taking over our reality. This is also a time where people can really be talking to our dreams, what we aspire to create. And that can lead us to really want to believe them, really kind of move down that path, which isn't actually going to be right for us. What we have to see during this time is how our dreams are coming forward after chaos, after hurt, after pain, after disappointment, after change. And it, again, it doesn't have to be bad change. It just is change that kind of knocked us for a loop that we weren't expecting. So here, it's very much being mindful that our dreams can be used against us during this time. And some people, it doesn't have to be that they're an air sign energy. It just can be that they use our dreams against us. And we can sit there and think, wow, that person achieved what I want to achieve. I'm going to do exactly what they do, but they're not us and we're not them. So it's not going to work the same way. We have to be kind to ourselves. Our chakra energy for this time, Pisces, August 16th to the 31st, 2021 Pisces. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly is visualization. Now, visualization gets a bad rap because a lot of times we think, okay, well, if I visualize it, then it will happen. But here's the thing. Visualization, visualization is just a key and it's a really big component in us getting what we want. So here it is the key to open up our minds to be able to say, I can. Because the thing with the mind that is kind of scary is that our mind does not know the difference between make-believe and reality. It doesn't know the difference between our fantasies and what we've actually lived. We know it through reason and we can logic it out. But that's, you know, if we have a good grasp on reality. Now with visualization, it helps us open up the portals in our mind, uh, the pathways of saying, I can do this because I visualize myself doing this. And my brain doesn't necessarily always know that I haven't done this. I haven't moved forward this way. I haven't, you know, created my, my own job, or I haven't, you know, gotten that promotion that I wanted, or I haven't fallen in love the, the way that I have dreamed. This is going to be us creating those pathways in our mind to say, yes, I have. Yes, I have had that business that I wanted, you know, started that career, done that, that thing that inspires me and makes me feel electrified and alive. Yes, I have fallen in love in the way that absolutely swips me off my feet. Yes, I have gotten that promotion. And we're going to see this guiding us forward. And we're going to see the fact that with our third eye chakra opened, we start to see, we start to visualize, and we start to kind of almost see what happens before it happens. Because we're so focused on what we are creating and what we are calling forward in prosperity that it changes the game for us. And it leads us, <coughs> excuse me, it leads us to a time of transformation. The tower comes into play. Everything changes. This is a time where we have seen so much change within our lives. We're not the same person that we were starting off. And sometimes we have to mourn that. The way that we thought our life was going to go isn't necessarily always the way that it goes. But Divinity puts twists and turns in there for a reason. To be able to open up, to be able to see, to be able to move forward. That is going to be one of the greatest gifts we have during this time. 
The tower guides us. The tower calls us to say there is more here. The tower shakes us. Something has been shaken up, and now we have to see, am I being just to myself? Am I embracing the justice for me? Am I moving forward in balance, in harmony, in greater understanding? When we look at justice, a lot of times we think of the letter of the law, white page, black print, you know, everything being clearly spelt out. But that's not how life works. It doesn't necessarily come with a rule book. It comes with myriad shades of gray. And the law, yes, comes into play. But the power of justice is different for each and every one of us. Because what it's saying here is not that I have to follow these certain rules. It's that I have to balance my life. And yes, I do have to follow certain rules, but I have to balance my life and be just to myself. I have to embrace harmony for me, which is then saying, maybe that doesn't mean that I'm just to everybody else. It's not saying to be cruel or to be mean. It's always moving forward in kindness and love and compassion. But it is saying that some energies just don't work with us. They just don't. And we have to not be afraid to say, I don't want that energy in my life. I don't want that depletion. I don't want that anger and that upheaval. I have to put myself first because what this tower time has taught us is that we matter and we have to move forward in that mindset because what we do at times and which is what human beings do is we try to please the people who've betrayed us or we try to make sense of it. When I see the three of cups, this is always for me, the person who raised their glass, who said, I'm, I'm standing with you and couldn't. And these people scar us. Yes, sometimes we're the person who raised our glass to somebody and said, I stand with you. And we couldn't stand with them. We have to forgive ourselves for that. We also have to see the lesson that was learned there. But what we have to do during this time is not to keep trying or wounding ourselves again and again for where this person couldn't come through. This person could have been a caregiver. It could have been a teacher. It could have been a sibling. It could have been a myriad of people, a partner, somebody that we absolutely loved and trusted. They couldn't. They couldn't be what they promised to be to us. They couldn't be just. And that rocked our world. And Pisces, we feel deeply. And we hold everything in. We run as deep as the, as the ocean. And people don't quite understand. What we need to do is not see our depth of feeling as a curse, because sometimes it can feel that way. What we need to is embrace the fact that that depth of feeling is a powerful tool that can guide us in this world like no other, can open up our eyes in a way that we couldn't imagine. And what we need to see is the people that stand by us. And if we don't have people that stand by us, it's our angels and our spirit guides that stand with us, that lead us forward. It's divinity's voice that guides us. It's understanding the aspects of ourselves, the triple aspect, the maiden, the mother, the crone, the youth, the adult, the wisdom. It's understanding that we will forever be transforming. And even coming to the compassionate realization that we won't always stand for us when we thought we would have. It leads us to the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is the warrior queen. This is a time where we become the warrior, which as a water sign energy, we're not really that comfortable with. But there is a ferocity to Pisces that people don't always understand. And I don't know if it's because you're, you're sandwiched between Aquarius and Aries, and there's a strength there that people don't always see. There's a brightness there. But during this time, you are going to find that there is a cutting through of so much nonsense. And there's a speaking of truths. There is, <sighs> divinity wants during this time for you to wake up each day and state one truth about yourself, a positive truth, not a, I have to lose five pounds type of truth, but a, I am, I am happy today. I am excited about X, Y, Z, you know, I am, I am content with myself. I am beautiful. I am smart. I am talented. I am rekindling the passion in my life and cutting through the negativity, cutting through the knots that get us all tripped up. The queen of swords is a fierce and ferocious queen. That's why she can be seen in a negative light 
She has more masculine energy in her than the other queens do. And that's not bad. That is just who she is. With the Queen of Swords coming forward, we are cutting through doubts and fears and despairs. We are standing in our power. We are claiming what is rightfully ours because we have gone through the betrayals. We have gone through the hurts and the pains and the disappointments. And as somebody who feels so deeply, this can then come forward in the world in, in such a way that it becomes like beautiful art. It becomes a form of expression. And it doesn't mean that we have to be artists. We don't have to be at all. We can be mathematicians and doctors and scientists. But it comes through in a beautiful expression of self, a beautiful depth of understanding that others that haven't been through this earth-shaking time don't see. This is a time where we're looking at things differently. We're seeing ourselves through a fire, through a, a tumult, through a, a hardening. Not necessarily making us so hard that we cannot feel, but it's a hardening in the fact that it's almost like a shield is being made around us or being made into diamonds. And do you know how diamonds are made? They're made by a worthless piece of coal being put under tremendous pressure for an unbelievable amount of time. And either that piece of coal crumbles away or it becomes a diamond. This is the time that we see if we become diamonds. We see how strong we are, how determined we are, how focused we are. And through this change that has swept us up, that has at times taken over and consumed our lives, we become students of our hearts. And being a student is the most powerful place to be. Just notice that whale out in the distance. We start to notice things for the first time. We start to, to question. We start to dive deeper. Everybody thinks being the queen, being the king, is the most powerful place to be. No, being the person who learns, being the person who gathers the understanding, that's the most powerful place to be. This is a time where we embrace that. We embrace that greatness. We embrace the ferocity. We embrace that ingenuity. We embrace that brilliance of us. To ask, to be students of our own heart, our own soul, our own desires, to push forward and to gain. This is a time where we almost feel new to love, new to loving ourselves, new to loving the world around us. It, there's a certain light, it ignites within us. Let it shine. It's time to raise the energy vibration. It's time to call the power forward. It leads us to the Knight of Swords. It leads us to being the hero of our story. It leads us to fighting the battles and, and being the victor. We can be impulsive during this time, so we have to be mindful of this. But what we also have to know is that we are the hero of this tale. We are the one becoming, fighting, and achieving, cutting through the doubts and the fears and the darkness and the monsters and the, the bleakness that wants to overthrow us. In the public arena, it is better to act than to stay stagnant. This is a time for action. Embrace the action around passion, around rolling up your sleeves and getting your hands dirty because there is a magnitude of wisdom and fire and passion to be ignited, to be, to be fanned. The winds are fanning the flames. Let them fly high. Let yourself ignite like a phoenix into, into the sky. Because this is a time where tenacity will be rewarded, where things pay off. Let your vibrational energy rise. Let your voice rise. Just even hum or sing or scream and let out the energy within you. The subconscious energy to be mindful of is the hermit. Do not hide away. And do not move towards the path that moves us towards hiding. It's going to be too easy. It's going to be easy because it's overwhelming what's happening right now. Don't hide away. The subconscious chakra energy is inspiration, the sacral chakra, which is a tricky chakra because it's where our creative sexual energy is held, but it's also where our doubts and our fears, our traumas and our dramas from this life and past lives are held. It's time 
to start a new dawn and a new day, to let the expression come through, to let the light shine. The sacral chakra, see yourself just engulfed in orange energy, engulfed in creativity, engulfed in sexual passion, engulfed in new ideas and new inspirations. See all the traumas and the dramas of this life, of past lives, breaking the chains that they have around you. See yourself being freed into a new dawn, into a new day. Embrace you. It moves us to our subconscious, rooted self. And that's judgment, the heart judged against the feather. What weight are we carrying within our hearts? That when Anubis judges our heart against a feather, as Anubis did for the ancient Egyptians, our hearts would be too heavy to enter into paradise. What is keeping us from entering into a living paradise here on earth? It moves us to our subconscious in ourself. It's a star, Aquarius energy, dreams coming forward. Dreams can be our undoing if we live solely in dreams as they can be anybody's undoing. But if we let our wishes soar into the world, if we embrace not what we want, but what we need, and we let divinity call that forward within us, how high can we fly? How much can we embrace? What would be the limit? And would there be one? Our subconscious emotional self is the five of wands. Do not let the battle that goes on within take away the blessing that is calling for you now. This is a time to say no to the chaos and to embrace infinite possibilities. But the chaos is going to call and it's going to be so easy to fall into shadow. Our subconscious public self is the two of swords. What pathway do we move forward in? What roads do we get to walk that we never thought could be? If we only let ourselves see. If we stop staying to traditional routes or to the way things have to be. And we start opening ourselves up to the majesty of what if. All right. All right, Pisces. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power that is coming. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Pisces. <laughs>